Hey everybody, this is Line6Will, and I'm going to show you all the shortcuts included with the Helix 2.0 firmware update. To assign the selected block to a foot switch, touch a foot switch for two seconds, then press knob 6, which is OK. If you want to assign multiple effects to the same foot switch, just highlight the next effect and touch the same foot switch and repeat the process. You'll see it say multiple. You can tap it to change between the two. To switch two foot switches assignments, hold down two of them at the same time and then press OK. You'll see them switch on the scribble strip. If you want to rename the foot switch assignment on the scribble strip, hold down the foot switch for two seconds and then hit customize. Here you can rename it. Once done, hit OK. You'll see a change on the scribble strip. To assign a parameter to a controller, press and hold the parameter knob. Press knob 6, which is Learn Controller. Then move the controller you want to control it. I chose the expression pedal to control the mix of the delay. Now to assign a parameter to a snapshots controller, press and turn the parameter knob. You'll see white brackets show up around the number. This will correspond to the particular snapshot you're currently on. To unassign a controller assignment, hold bypass and press the parameter knob. Now say you want to copy a snapshot. While touching the source snapshot, briefly touch the destination snapshot switch. To swap two snapshot foot switch locations, touch the two snapshot foot switches for two seconds, then press knob 6. To toggle the global settings of snapshot edit parameters, hold bypass and press save. The gray camera icon equals recall, the red camera icon equals discard. To easily jump to get to your amps parameters on the current preset, press the amp button. An easy way to jump from one end of the signal path to the other Move left from an input block to jump to the output block. Move right from the output to jump to the input block, also known as the Pac-Man shortcut. For tempo, to set a specific tempo, touch tap, and then you can turn knob 6 to dial in the BPM. If you want to set the tempo reference per snapshot, preset, or global, touch tap and then turn knob 5. To change the function of FS1 and FS7, hold them down for two seconds to cycle through bank, preset, or snapshot up and down. If you're adjusting a parameter and want to put it back to default, simply tap it down. It will automatically jump to whatever the preset default is. The same technique can be used to change delay or mod time or speed parameter from milliseconds to note values. Now if you want to change delay or mod time parameters from milliseconds to note values in pedal edit mode, press and hold time or speed foot switches for two seconds. Also while in pedal edit mode, to quickly scroll values, hold FS10 or FS11. That's the value plus and minus. An easy way to turn global EQ on and off is to hold bypass for two seconds. You'll see the icon in the top right show up if it's on.
while in the Save or Rename screens, an easy way to cycle through selected characters is to press down on the joystick. To set output and mixer block level parameters back to Unity and pan parameters to center, simply press down on the knob. And finally, a shortcut to save a preset is to just double tap the save button. And that's all the shortcuts on the Helix 2.0 update.